Hello everyone, Pokeblogger here, and in today's video I'll be reviewing The Weird Al Show from 1997 through 1998. A bit of background before my review, I am a Weird Al fan, I really like UHF, it's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite movies I'd say, and I was... I just didn't know how to watch um, with the Weird Al show, even though it's only 13 episodes and it's probably up on YouTube by now. It is, I think. And so I just decided to check and see what streaming service is on. It's on Roku. So I watched all 13 episodes and I have some pretty mixed opinions on it. So in the good, I do really like that it only had 13 episodes because that means I didn't have to watch too much of it. So it had 13 episodes, it only ran for one season from, I think, fall 1997 to spring 1998, and it really was not great. So in the 90s, the people who are in charge of the news was like, hey, we need more educational content in the morning. So the Weird Al show got lumped into that, and now Weird Al is educational. And... If it weren't for the educational parts of the show, I think it would have been really, really good. Like the TV segments, which are the only like strictly non-educational parts are hilarious. And sometimes they're great non-educational jokes, but every part that's educational is just hard to watch, I'll say. And it's, it was like miserable, honestly. I really did not like watching the educational parts. And the educational parts weren't like, it was kind of the opposite of the way like Bluey's educational, as in it's really um, in your face, talking about it the way no one ever ever has ever talked about that kind of thing ever. So it was bad. But besides that, the TV show segments where Al watches TV are probably really, really good. Maybe even some of my favorite segments of TV ever. There's one every episode, and it's always really, really comedic. There's Fred Huggins, who is an icon. And if you just look up Fred Huggins on YouTube, I'm sure there's a compilation of all his stuff, and he's just hilarious. There's the gymnast, one of the gymnasts, one of the contortionists, or gymnasts behind the main gymnast played by Weird Al, is Doug Jones, the Baron from What We Do in the Shadows, um, the guy from Pan's Labyrinth, you know him. So that's kind of cool. And it did have some guest stars, like a lot of musicians that are no longer popular or were controversial um or are now controversial and Gilbert Godfrey was in it so that's something as Weird Al's imaginary friend and there's also it's it's really funny sometimes that's the consensus on the show sorry for this review not being very long I just don't have much to say besides tv segments were good rest of it not so good well see you in a future video also I'm sorry for this not being long or I have a scripted video coming out this Friday hopefully and then another one maybe coming out Monday or sometime next week one of which is Weird Al related, I'm not going to spoil which one, but I'm excited for those, so I've been working on that pretty hard, so I kind of had to make a different video for this Monday. But anyway, thanks for watching, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all those things, and I'll see you again very, very soon.